we are going to share with you some of our uh, memories of when we went to a place called Punta del Diablo, which is in Uruguay. So it's right beside Brazil. And uh, we actually left from Florianopolis. We went to Porto de Alegre, Porto Alegre, it's called. It was a little bit, um, I wouldn't say scary, but we were at a bus terminal and you, didn't, you just didn't really feel too safe at that port. So from there though, we took a really nice bus ride all the way to Punta del Este. And it was like an overnight bus, so we slept on the bus, so it was really nice to have that extra space and we had a really nice sleep. Uh, and it was just like an overall really nice experience. The bus had bathrooms, had uh, probably had soap, if I remember correctly, to wash your hands. So all those little luxuries that you don't always get while you're traveling through every country in South America. So we arrived, um, in Chewy, like I was saying, and then we walked around a little bit and hopped on the next bus to get to Punta del Diablo. Punta del Este is actually super close to the Brazilian border. It's only about 40 kilometers uh, away, and uh, it's a big um, kind of beach town. Uh, it has dirt roads. I don't know if you remember, but when we were driving, we saw a lot of um, horses, like people like literally riding on horses, and literally there's no uh, paved roads. So it's all like kind of beachy and sand roads. It has all these like little colorful um, little buildings and it's just a really nice um, atmosphere. to Punta del Este, which is very popular and kind of more chic. This is more like the um, kind of hippie vibe and like party little area. And uh, anyway, it was really nice. So we went there and just enjoyed a really nice day. And uh, I actually have friends. Natalia's family lives there too, which is crazy. Um, there's only about a thousand people who live there, but in the high season, which is just after Christmas in January, it goes from like a thousand people to like up to 35,000 people. So it gets really, really busy. There's lots of little inns and places to stay. Um, and it's a really beautiful spot. So. You, you enchant me even when you're not around. the Diablo is to do whale watching and so you can do whale watching right from the beach you don't need to take a boat tour or anything you can see them right along the beach and um, of course swim and enjoy life because it's just like a beach fun town to go see Let me 
hope you enjoy kind of some of the scenes that we took and pictures and uh, the time that was there. Okay, we'll see you guys next time and we'll show you a really cool tour of Punta del Este next. See you next time. Bye. Bye.